welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Madeira and um, today we're going to go on the PR6 route so the map's behind me here but I'll just show it to you now. PR6 is Madeira's most famous waterfall walk. There are several offshoots from the route and we're going to take PR6.3 and PR6.1 on this trail. Starting at the car park we work our way down the mountain on a steady road. To visit the first waterfall we branch off the main route to PR6.3. This takes us through the woods with its twisting trees for around one and a half kilometers until we take the descent to Lagoa do Vento, which is a beautiful pool and striking waterfall. Having spent time relaxing by the pool, we head back through the woods on the same undulating track before joining PR6 again. From here, we take a much wider path which traces under the PR6.3 route and works its way towards the larger waterfall, Risco. We turn back a short distance before taking the bridge to the other side of the valley to head for the hidden gem of Cascada das 25 Fontes. This is a beautiful pool and waterfall with a fantastic vibrant colour coming from the rocks and surrounding foliage. As we continue on, we head across the river once more and begin a 500 metre climb up to the cafe. This is one of the most testing parts of the walk. The cafe and visitor centre offers a welcome break with great views over the valley. We take the path through the woods and eventually join the route near PR 6.3. We continue heading up the road on an easy path to get back to the car park. <laughs> we're starting off at the car park at the top. Uh, we're heading down, um, it's a bit up and down this route. There's a few waterfalls to go around, so you can see them from the top and from the bottom, but a really enjoyable walk. It's also known as Fonts 25. This one we're following then. So it's a uh, varied route, but PR 6, 6.1, and 25 fonts if you're looking for it. And we're just down here. in Madeira for a few days now and it's just after some quite severe fires earlier in the year and some of the routes are closed off so the one we tried the other day PR1 which is a great route really high level route only about a mile of it is open at the moment so we did that anyway I'll show you on another video uh, but this one it's really lush really green in this area and I say it's uh, Fonts 25 so quite a watery one it's a Levada walk and the Levadas, the little channels of water which are at the side as you walk around. So it's quite a roady one to start off with and a lot of the ones around the island are like this. Uh, we'll get onto the paths a little bit later. Alison's with me there, she's taking a few photos. So if you want to check out her Instagram, I'll put it in the description for you. Strangely for this one, though we're quite high up, you'll recognise some of these things around. So we are still a bit of a ferny activity. A bit of these, they like heather these, but it's, I mean, you can see how wet that is. I was surprised the fire didn't get it. Uh, but they're kind of like massive heather bushes, like 10 feet tall. So similar to the Spain uh, trails, this one is marked with colours, so that's what you're looking for as you go around. Yellow and red for us today. There you go, we're about 1.2k into the water now. Getting to some of the streams coming down. It did put rain down a couple of days ago, and these are the kind of Levadas next to me. Well, it's not quite a true Levada, it's more like a gutter gone mad, to be honest, but it's gathering the water off the hillside and that will reappear over there. Right, so we're just going to go down and do this 6.3 onto here just to go up and it just takes on to a new bit into the forest. When you're in the woods it's uh, quite twisty trees coming over all the time so it's a uh, well trodden enough route but yeah gotta mind your head this isn't the route we originally started going after it's slightly below us but it's a good view and point up there for photography across the valley <laughs> a bit all-encompassing isn't it it's like closed in tunnel all the way around on the very steep bits they have these rails you can see the drop off there it's quite significant. Whoop! <laughs> 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 nearly took my head off then. 
right under this one. Oh. So it is a bit of a, a crouchy experience coming through. Good route, so there's a shot out, and there we go. There's a little view out of the valley. We'll get more of that in a sec. Fair to say it's wetter than other parts of the island have been on. Not surprised the fire's not got this place. You do feel a little bit closed in on this, like you're walking in a foresty tunnel. Here's a good walk. Steps are varied, so you do need, well, you're better off with trail boots. So you've got your trainers on, haven't you? How's it going with trainers? Big mistake. Big mistake, there you go. <laughs> Bring your trail shoes. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's a bit mucky in places. Yeah, it's definitely a. <laughs> There's our first small waterfall for us. But there's some crackers on this one, I'll tell you. We're about halfway on this offshoot. Again, a bit of valley just starting to open up here. And that's gonna become quite apparent soon when we get down here. All right, that, a big step. steep bumps on this one. That's a bit difficult to know what's going on because you're walking these green tunnels all the time. We're getting close to the first big viewing point now. We'll be able to look down into the valley and there are waterfalls going down. So it's been a bit uphill down dale. If you are visiting Madeira then there are definitely uh, lists of open and closed walks so worth checking those if you're visiting any time before 2026 because the fire devastation is quite significant in some parts of the island and some of the main routes like PR1 are closed. We opened a bit of it in August this year. 1.5 into it now. This is opening out for us. Well, we're out of the forest now into a bit of open air. Um, we go around this little path, you can see that I'm winding down the hillside <clears throat> and then we'll get to the waterfall. It's quite the path down this and we're going to end up uh, a little bit of a pool. Paddle your feet there. Yeah. Paddle your feet when you get down there. <laughs> Feels like the drop's about 100 metres or so as we come down here. And we'll be at the pool. We've got our paddling pool. Lovely. Get in there properly and I'll show you. So that's the pool. And it goes all the way up there. Bit of a waterfall. the upper pool so we're gonna head down a little bit and then catch the lower one so you have to go back the k and a half on the route we've just come then come annoyingly up almost to about 300 yards away from here but the drop down is quite massive so there's no way you can link the two together we're rejoining the original path again so back to where we should have been. We just carry on down on this path then. What did you think of the other waterfall? Beautiful. Lovely one, isn't it? Yeah. So good, isn't it? Then we'll come into the uh, big one in a bit. We had a little peek over the top, just to see what it looked like. So we're just gonna follow this round now. This is us, what are we saying? Fontes, two and a half K, down here. A bit we've just been past is where the cafe is. And also there's a bus stop there. So once you've gone through that, you're on this 
slightly more stony path. So this is like the other road, but posher. <laughs> it's not muddy. So it's dead steady actually. Just seen a lady coming up in sandals, so I guess it's pretty easy. So 2k done, a bit more to go. We're coming to this split off here. And there we go. That's gathering water down there and gently working its way down. But well, it's quite flat on this level. <laughs> this just happens all the way along, really. Huge boulder come down there. It's a lot easier on this route, isn't it, than the other one? Yeah. So, if you uh, want an easy route, then this is a good one. This is definitely on a lush part of the island. It's uh, pretty damp all around, to be honest. I'm not surprised the buyers didn't get it because it's too wet. So yeah, the vadas are here to catch the uh, water as it works its way down. And you'll see them flowing a bit faster as we get further down. So this is PR61. I can hear something. Water. Yeah, water. Yeah, that's a good one. Got the channel there coming down. This is where we were before on the PR6.3 and then walked along the top there. And we're just gonna go to the lower waterfall now and we'll check that out. Point one. <laughs> it's around the corner. <laughs> I'll get through here and I'll show you. That is it. Wow, that is impressive. See how close we can get to it. Wow. <laughs> Drop off as well. No, Look away. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I've got to say that there's something next to it which has intrigued me. Let's have a little look at it. It's really coming off all over the place around here. Oh, yeah, I thought so. So there was a gate there and you could go underneath it. Someone's closed it off, but yeah, you can see all the holes going around where you could have got under it. Must be currently too dangerous. I don't know if you carved it off Never mind. That's disappointing, isn't it? Right, but yeah, anyway, that is, that's the big one. What we'll do now, I'm going to head back on the same way, take a split point down, and then we'll join up with the pool at the bottom. There's our valley view coming back. Just obscured by that tree. <laughs> yeah, clouds is low, but we're going lower, so it's all right. Oh, hello. <laughs> yellow bird let's see it then they're all over the island these oh that's um i think it's a yellow crested something or other there you go it's like a flitty bird that's the other one you see quite a lot i don't see that bothered so again i'm not videoing this back and forward but i'm going to come to the turn in a sec so i'll show you that and then we'll head down the hill on some new ground let's watch right around here to get back to this notable spot. Just been down there, 0.8 to Risco. Then we're heading down the hill. So Fontes 25 again, uh, 2.1K. A steady and stable down for us. <laughs> I 
This drop says it's about 50 meters on my information, but it's not, it's about 200 meters. So quite a big one. So windy old one coming down as well, twisting and turning. Once we get down here, we just hit this one, 1 1.8 Fontes, that's just that way. A little bit of Levada action as we go around. Yeah, clear as a mountain stream that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> It'll take a lot of water, that's currently about six inches deep or something like that, but it'll take about a foot and a half. How would you rank this hard-wise? Easy, moderate? Yeah. Or hard? Easy, moderate. <laughs> easy, moderate? Yeah, it's easy, moderate. One takes easy because of the bit up and down, but it's definitely not a tricky one. If you're doing this on quite a hot day, it's quite good because you get some shelter uh, as you're going round. Uh, if you stay like today, it's not raining, but it's just a bit wet. Whoop, under it. Around this bit then, we're just going to cross over the river. There we are then. Down to the bridge. Should get a nice view going up. There we go. That's the valley. That's good, isn't it? Just get the other side. There's a little bit. It is very green as you're going down. You can see all the new water courses joining here. There we go. It's a bit of a stiff climb. There we are, PL6, 3K. There it is coming round. Working its way down. This gets a bit narrow here. <laughs> a bit of a drop off. Oh look, Levada's in there. Someone's put a little roof on it. It's quite narrow this. It goes to about one foot wide. So Fontas is straight on, but we're just gonna pop over here because there's a viewpoint not so far away. We'll have a look what that's got to offer. This is a bit of a viewpoint. There we go. There's the valley. That's a view out. We've been up, now we're coming down. <laughs> and when we come down, we're gonna take a right. Just rejoining this path in front of us. There's another Lavada. Oi! All right, Fontes point two. There we go, just arrived. I can hear it. That's cascading down there. Very waterfally. And then just here, got the more active Lovada. At this point, we're going to hit the waterfall again. And there's a bit of a cave underneath it. So this is it. Here we go. Uh, it's a big one. Can't see Belter. this waterfall now and then head a bit further down into the valley so it's a great one if you like waterfalls absolutely stunning on this back on the same ground a little bit but yeah I've got the valley views going back I'm gonna head down the valley eventually on this loop as well you can get round to the cafe uh, and that was where our original break-off point was we went to 6-3 so down to this we came down here earlier and this time we're going straight on if you like limboing, this is the walk for you. <laughs> this is about 100 trees to duck under. Coming down, there's a little tunnel thing ahead of me and a Levada. So let's have a look at those. There we are. What is happening here? What is it? 
<laughs> a random shelter. Yeah. There you go, got some agapanthus there. Any garden centre near you? Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Pop down here. This at the side just takes you down to a viewing point where you can take a few photos. That's it, I think, just in front of me there. Appearing out of the forest. Alright, so there it is. Paul. Well, interesting. And yet not. <laughs> well, there's a house down here. I'm not quite sure what it's used for. Might be an emergency shelter. So if you want to come down and see this, what I presume is a bothy, then feel free. It's just 100 yards off, but if not, I won't hold it against you. Well, interesting little house, but back up to the main path. <laughs> there we go. The bars look a bit deeper. That looks looking pretty full, that now. A couple of feet deep, a couple of feet across. The path down here again, it's quite narrow, but it seems less busy than the other bit we we're on. So that's all right. Single track stuff. Now it's difficult to make out, but we're going to go round and sort of follow the valley on the other side. A tiddly bridge, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now that'd be good. Yeah. If you're doing some uh, wild swimming, they'd be great little pools to be in. Nice little doo 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 going down. Nice. Got a pair and we're just turning and we're going to go up the hill. So it's about 200 metres up. So, a uh, bit of a stiff one, but you know, that's what you have to do. This up is pretty steep. And the path's all right. It's a pretty stable staircase, but not exactly even. Can't view out. Wow. This elevation gain is pretty consistent, and it's about 500 meters. So that's a pretty big one. Gonna need a few breathers going up. Wow. It's huge. So where we've mainly been walking, it's been up there today and down onto this hillside. It's the valley, back up, and there's Alison. <laughs> 100 metres to go of the up, then we're sorted. Get into something then, because there's a sign. What does it say? 0.5, Travada de Rocha Vimelha, and Casa do Rabachal 1.1, which is where we're going. So that sign really is to the cafe, and we'll stop there and then see what we thought of the walk before completing the last bit, which is the first bit you've seen uh, when we got to the split at 6.3. So, yeah, a few more minutes, we'll be there. Lavada's not quite as full on this side, so the up's about 500 metres. That's how it is. <laughs> you go down, you've got to go back up again. It is a bit of a weird walk in that you start at the top and start going down. So you finish off when you're a bit tired, excuse me, <laughs> is to uh, go back up the hill. Yeah. But still, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? But still, never mind. Uh, but yeah, it's been a good walk. I think easy to yeah. moderate, depending on the places. Some... That last uh, climb was a bit harder. <laughs> yeah, the last up's a bit stiff, but you know, just here's how it is. Yeah, it's pretty. I like the twisted trees. I like the little Lavada thing going to the side. There it is. But yeah, on a sunny day, get a bit of dappled shade. So it's a nice one to keep you cool. What does it say? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Up here. Half a K. Hope it's not half a K of up. We're nearly at the cafe. If you've done any of these or thinking of doing, just let me know in the comments. Good to hear about what your plans are and what you've done. Well, I've been here, we've done PR8, the bit that's open on PR1. So I'll put those in the folder for you. <laughs> Let's get under these trees. 
<laughs> Apart from the inevitable extra flight of stairs. Now these little fellows know where the cake is, don't you? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Could have all arguing. Get off, it's my cake. Yeah. What do you think of the walk? Enjoy it? Good. What's your favourite bit? This walk then, waterfall's really good and the Labada at the side, it's quite pretty. So yeah, overall really good walk, I'd recommend it. So it's easy to moderate and you can do it probably in six hours or less. <laughs> Seems to take ages. Just leaving the cafe and heading up to PR63 again, which is the split point we went down earlier. We did a couple of videos in Spain and uh, Nobody's seen them, so <laughs> Alison reckons these will be better. <laughs> but you know, maybe we'll find out anyway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. So if you uh, watched all the way through, then thanks a lot. If you click on the like, that helps me out. If you want to subscribe, then just click on that thing in the corner. And I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.